This is an iPhone 13. I'm just going to show you how to attach the dermatoscope to it. Every phone is going to be using a different um, camera, so they're really annoying, but particularly on the iPhone 13 and 14 models. This one's got three cameras, and all I want to do is just hold my finger in front of each lens and look at the screen and try and work out which one is the most appropriate lens to use. So this, this one here is the one where my finger appears in the center of the frame. So I'm going to put the clamp over that lens. Go back to the photo mode. And as you can see, okay, so it was blocking it and then it's released it. So this particular phone can't make its mind up and what it wants to do, and it's switching from one camera to another, but it's now sitting on that camera. And when I put it on the skin, it's it sometimes it'll go to the right camera. Now we've got a different problem in that this particular one is so bright, we can't actually see anything. Um, some of the um, iPhones will do that as well. So unfortunately in that situation, you need to go and do something different. So we change it to portrait mode and we need to go back to that process of finding the correct camera again. So in portrait mode, it's a different lens. So in this one, it is the, it's the bottom lens, this one here. So now we put the phone adapter over that lens and go back to portrait mode, turn the dermatoscope on, snap it on, and there we go. So it's working in place there and you can see we've got a good quality image um, from that. Some, um, some of the new Samsung models are doing this as well and certainly the iPhone 13 and 14. Not all of them, sometimes they'll do a software update which will change it as well, but the problem is absolutely in the, um, in the phone itself, not the adapter or the derm light. So that's the way to work around it. Thanks.